Tire pressure's checked, hitch checked, everything checked, and we are ready to go on our maiden camping trip. We're gonna head quite local, and we're just gonna go for probably three nights, just so we can work out everything, how to use everything, work out the bugs. I had new airbags, their suspension installed on the truck. So that's being put to its uh, proper pressure in conjunction with a weight distribution hitch should make towing pretty stable. So this is the view from the RV park that we chose for a couple of days. We're right underneath the shadows of the mountains. It's really well laid out, the RV park. All the spaces have got their own picnic table, all their own services, gas and water. Not gas, water and electric. So we put the truck that way to give us a bit of privacy. Slides out. We've just finished setting everything up. It's got the propane fire pit going because in less than 30 seconds, once I've done videoing for you guys, I'm going to sit and have a well deserved beer. We've got these little uh, birds, mountain birds, whatever they are. You can see up there the red breasted one and the brown one. I'm not a bird guy, so I don't know what they are, but very cute. And we're eating a bag of chips, so they are like squawking at us to get chips. We can't throw chips because MacDog, who's with us, is probably gonna go out and eat the chips himself, but he's obedient. Rhonda, nice and warm now, eh? It's lovely. How do you like your new travel trailer? I absolutely love it, it's awesome. Yeah, me too. Do you like it, Mac Dog? Do you like your new travel trailer? Yeah, you do. So we are gonna uh, cook supper pretty quick here. Okay, so to celebrate the maiden voyage of the new travel trailer, we're gonna have some bubbles. Yes. I love my little uh, outdoor bar area. How's that, Rhonda? Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. You keep it warm next to the fire. Trailer set up for the night. Got some nice accent lighting there. It looks really cool. I'm going to sit on the couch here. And that's the uh, entertainment center. But I'm really happy. Look at the bedroom here. Hold on. I actually can't wait to go to bed. Just look at this. Just look at the bedroom. We're having chicken breast burgers. Basically chicken breast in a bun. But trying out the new grill. And so far it's cooking good and it smells good. Chicken burger and chips cooked on the new travel trailer grill. What an awesome, awesome sleep we had in this bed. Absolutely wonderful. The mattress, we were worried it may be a little, a little bit cheap. It may not be comfortable, but it turns out it's a memory foam king size mattress and it was just awesome to sleep in. We both had a fantastic sleep. I bought this table to act as a an outdoor work surface countertop for part of the outdoor kitchen. It's awesome. A handy faucet and little sink at the end, which is great for an outdoor kitchen. And I have a quick connect for water right there, so it works really, really well. Okay, here's a lesson in a Canadian tradition, I'm gonna make a Caesar. For those of you that don't know what a Caesar is, it's it's like a Bloody Mary. It's vodka and clamato, clam juice with tomato juice mixed. Yeah, I did say clam juice. This is the main ingredient. This is clamato, clam juice with tomato juice mixed. 
So this is the ingredients. We've got clam juice. We're going to use Liam Perrins. So there's a bit of UK influence in there. No, but what's that weird word you guys say with Liam Perrins? It's Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Well, how do you say it, Rhonda? Worcester? No, say it. Come on. How do Canadians say Worcestershire it? Worcestershire or something like that we say? You say Worcestershire. Shire, yeah. It's Worcestershire. Worcestershire Worc sauce. Worcestershire. Okay, and we're going to use Tabasco to make it spicy. This is this is not my recipe. This is typical ingredients for uh, Caesar. We're going to put some olives in there because you always have to have food elements in the drink. So we're going to have olives. I've got a little piece of cheese. We've got Rhonda's homemade pickled sausage. So good. Yeah, it is so good. And we've got Rhonda's homemade pickled green beans. Spicy beans. And they are spicy, okay. So, the glass has been rimmed as well. It's important to have a Caesar rim, which is like a, a seasoned celery salt. So that's on there, and lime. So let's start. There's number one. And there's two, two ounces of vodka. Put in next, we're gonna add Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yeah. That's it. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna put a good dollop of that in there. That's that. And then we're gonna make it spicy. I like it spicy, so Tabasco probably one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna use this, this is awesome. This is real lime. It's actually lime juice dehydrated into a powder and it totally tastes like fresh lime. So we're gonna add two of these little sachets in there. You have to have lime with a Caesar. It gives it a little bit of citrus zing. So two of those, true lime it's called. And now we put the main ingredient, the Clamato juice. Fill that up. We're gonna have a couple of pieces of pickled sausage. We're gonna have a couple of these spicy beans. I definitely won't need breakfast after this. So that goes right onto the meat stick. It's brunch in a glass. Finish off with a piece of cheddar, aged cheddar cheese. So there's the snack that goes on top. Yum. And that is a classic Canadian Caesar. Cheers. Cheers. Let me try it. Absolutely perfect. Look at that sandwich. Eggs and sausage and hash brown. Runny eggs, look at the yolk coming out of it. Isn't that a good hearty breakfast? Just enjoying the fire pit at the site. We brought these uh, maple logs from home from a maple tree that was cut down in our backyard and maple it burns so long and so hot so our first uh, few days in the rv in the travel trailer awesome we are loving it we are so pleased with the purchase that we made that's uh everything we wanted in the travel trailer is in there and it all works great works there's the camping setup after three days. We're really into the swing of where everything is and look at the mountains in the background. Just beautiful here. So look what we have here. Being a Brit, I've never made Jiffy Pop. Apparently Jiffy Pop, everyone in North America will know, is popcorn in a pan only costs a couple of dollars to buy this that you can cook over a, a campfire and uh, what does it say it says as much fun to make as it is to eat jiffy pop 
on top of the campfire and see if Mr. Brit can make it work and pop. Minutes. Keep shaking. When a sizzling sound is heard, continuously shake the pan in a very fast circular back and forth motion. Get it near the fire. So being Canadian, this is one snack my mom always brought home for us. We always had Jiffy Pop popcorn. So Glenn brought it home the other day and thought he was surprising us. Surprising me with a cool bit of popcorn. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a new modern invention. But apparently it's been around for years and years. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, look at the top starting to come up a little bit. It's starting to pop. Look at that expand, wow. Oh, it's still popping. You hear it popping? Yeah, totally. It's hot. Here Ooh. we go, here we go. Looks good. Looks delicious. Look at that. Woohoo! So here's tonight's raw meal. We're gonna do a make mega, mega camping burgers. There's burger patties, sausage, bacon, back bacon. Oh no, the travel trailer's on fire. No help, call the fire brigade. What's happening? Oh, it's okay, it's only the burgers. Whew. Here's the regular burger, the normal, normal size burger. Rhonda's burger. Burger, mushrooms, bacon, onions, lettuce. But look at this one. Look at this epic flipping burger over here. Oh, it's a triple decker with everything loaded. Look at that. Is that not awesome? And that's what you call camp food. And we're 